Welcome to tonight's homework help for Monday night, October 15th, 2012. We're going to jump right in with soup cans. Uh, this problem gives you the chance to extend and check a given pattern. So a lot of pattern problems lately. Julie is building a display of soup cans. The diagram shows the beginning of her display. Display 1, display 2, display 3. How many cans are there in display 3? So you need to count how many cans there are and write your answer there. Draw, uh, step 2, draw display 4 next to display 3 in the diagram above. So you're going to draw a display 4 with cans over in this area for number 2. For number 3, Julie begins to make a table to show the number of cans needed to make these displays. Okay, let's take a look at that table. Okay, uh, display number Display 1 has 1 can, display 2 has 3 cans, display 3 is empty, display 4 is empty, display 5 is empty. It says to fill in the missing numbers in Julie's table. So you're going to follow that pattern up above uh, of cans and try to figure out how many cans would be in uh, display 3, display 4, and display 5. Fill in the table. Okay? And then you're going to explain how you found the number of cans in display 5. So use your own words to write in English sentences exactly how you found that. Okay, uh, switching over to the other side. Okay, here we are on the other side. Julie says I need 22 cans to make display 7. She is not correct. How many cans are needed to make display 7? So you have to figure out, based on that pattern, how many cans there would be in display 7. It says explain your answer. So again, write in English sentences how you figured that part out. N number 5, each can is 6 inches high. Julie wants to finish her display with a stack that is five feet high. Uh, how many rows will, will there be? Okay, well keep in mind that's, that it takes 12 inches to make a one foot. So these are six inches. So a good clue would be that it's going to be two cans high, or two rows would be one foot. So hopefully that will help you figure out how many rows there will be, right? How many rows there will be here of cans to make them five feet high. Uh, how many cans will Julie need? Uh, so this doesn't mean how many rows high of cans, but this means actually how many cans will she need to have the right amount of rows to make a stack that is five feet high. And then you're going to have to show how you figured out your answer. Okay, and That looks like that's it for uh, this homework. It is due Wednesday, uh, October 17th. Um, Good night, and go Bears! Rawr!